Hey there YouTube, welcome back. Uh, today's tutorial is going to be doing uh, HDRI images and how to use them in V-Ray 3ds Max. I want to make this tutorial as quick as possible while also making sure you learn everything. So to get right into it, we have HDRI Haven. This is where you can get a lot of free textures from. Well, as in textures, I mean HDRIs. If you come to the website and scroll down, you will see browse 200 plus HDRIs. You click on this, you can pick from all these different categories. They are 100% free, they accept donations, they're a great website and doing a great thing. So we're gonna go to Skies, and the one I'm gonna download is going to be this Klufendil. You click on it, you scroll down, you can see you have all these different sizes you can download from. I'm gonna do the 4K 25 megabytes. Now you can see, already done downloading because I have gigabyte internet. <laughs> And uh, before I get over to the scene, that's just, you know, that's our HDRI, right, so we have downloaded it. You're going to need one of those for the thing. But if you want to accomplish renders like this, these are my renders. If you want your stuff to look like this, this one I don't like so much anymore. This was two years ago. But if you want your renders to look really nice and not flat, you will want a HDRI image. So I have this simple scene here. You can have whatever scene you want, does not matter. This is just the scene I'm using. You know me, I like my cars. So we're gonna come over and we're gonna put a light in our scene. So you're gonna go to your lights and you're gonna go to V-Ray lights, and do V-Ray light. You're going to place that down. Size does not matter, as uh, they would tell you. <laughs> and we're gonna go to over here down the right side and click type, plane, and make that into a dome. So from here, you have your texture here. It says no map. Click on no map. Go to HDRI V-Ray right here. It's in your V-Ray tab. And then we're gonna pick on that image that we downloaded. Perfect. So then I have my resolution here. I don't want this to be 512. That's kind of a low resolution. I'm gonna do 20, 2048. So there we go, we have our HDRI plugged into our light. Next, I'm gonna hit M to go to my materials. And let's see, I'm gonna bring this, uh, there we go, there's an empty slot right here. I'm going to take this slot right here, you grab on it, you can pull it around. I'm gonna bring it into my materials as a instance. So you can see, there's your HDRI. First things first, you wanna make sure your mapping type is set to spherical. So once that sets to spherical, you're good to go. So anything, uh, any other things I'll tell you really quick. My camera, just so you know. Oops, come on. Oh, please let me click on my camera. It's so annoying. My, my, my camera. <laughs> there we go. My camera. I have my aperture set to three. I have my shutter set to one slash seconds and it's at 50. And then I have my exposure installed and it's set to 100 ISO. So now if we hit C and I go to my camera, I hit shift F, that'll bring up my render, like how I want it. This is my render scene. Now, before we go, before I, you know, get too far into this, I do want to show you what it looks like without having the HDR on there. Let's go ahead and undo the texture. Now I'm just gonna show you how bad this looks without having that on there. So this is just my, it's gonna take a second to render obviously, cause this is a huge, you know, really complicated uh, detailed file. But this is what it looks like without a HDRI. This is just a straight up dome light inside my scene. If you think about it, it looks halfway decent. But we're gonna stop this cause that does not look good in my opinion. I'm gonna ahead and hit texture. And then now that it's back on there, I'm going to hit render again, and bam. It is a world of difference. So now it actually looks like my car is sitting in a real world scene. I have these nice shadows coming across. I have good reflections. Everything just looks so much better. And that website has so many HDRIs on it. It's You can just go to town and download them for free, and experiment you can try out different things and see what looks best for you but that was just a really fast tutorial just to show you how to get hdri images into your scene and i really hope that was helpful for you 
Um, as for my render settings, none of that really matters right now because this is just a sample image, but you can see this looks a lot nicer than what we had before. Uh, if you wanted to, you can always come in here and if you wanted to rotate your HDRI, you can come right here and let's say you wanna rotate it 90 degrees, you can do that. If I wanna do 180 degrees and I come render it, you'll see that the light is coming from a different direction now. Now it's coming from over there. So that's something you might want to mess with is messing with the horizontal rotation and that will rotate your HDRI image around. Hope you guys learned something today. Look forward to making more video guy for you guys. And until next time, I will see you in the next one. Like, subscribe, do all the good stuff. Peace out.